Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I feel so weird saying that because it has been what feels like forever since I last filmed a video and I don't know, I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes trying to pump myself up to film because I'm kind of nervous. I definitely feel a little bit out of practice but I hope that you guys are excited to see one of my videos popping up on your subscription feed once again. I've received so many comments and messages and just so many lovely people saying that they miss me and I really appreciate all of you. I am not done with YouTube. I just took an accidental really long break because there's been so much going on in my life personally, but I am here and I am gonna try and get back to regularly posting videos for y'all and putting my heart back into this because I do love doing YouTube. I love the community that we've built together and I really, really do miss it. But yeah, I just thought I would do a video with y'all today kind of getting ready. Um, just my like everyday makeup routine that I've been doing recently because I have honestly been very, very basic with my makeup these last few months and I thought I would just do what I always do and make it easy while I chat and just kind of talk about where I've been, what's been going on in my life. I'm just gonna start off with the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Fair 01. And I'm almost done with this. I've been using it pretty much every day because I cannot find my foundations. Still unpacking, going through all the makeup one day at a time, but I don't know where a single foundation is. This is all I have currently, so it's fun because there's been days when I'm like, I really like some extra coverage and nope, don't know where anything is. So just gonna go ahead and throw that on. Honestly, I have not been using any primer. I normally just use some moisturizer and call it a day. So like I said, that this has been an accidental break. It was not something I planned for, but I recently bought a house with my boyfriend and I planned to take maybe like a month off, but I honestly ended up just getting overwhelmed because there was so much to do. So it started with packing my apartment, then packing his apartment, then unpacking the house together, and we painted almost the entire house, which was so much. Um, and it was kind of stressful because it was like, oh, we think it's gonna take us like four days. That's what we calculated to begin with. And then it took like two weeks and it felt like we were running to Lowe's every day, multiple times a day. And it's just been this constant feeling of there always being something to do and it was really hard to prioritize YouTube even though I wanted to, I just couldn't in the moment and then at some point it became like, it became an overwhelming feeling to think of filming again because if I'm being honest, I have enjoyed like mentally not having to deal with anyone's opinions on my life or what I'm doing or having anything negative to say like, that's the best part about being less active on social media for sure. Um, and then also I've just felt kind of lost because I have always been like pretty active in the makeup community and keeping up with things and keeping up with new releases and watching everyone's videos. And like, I haven't watched any videos almost no no videos in months. I, I have no idea what any brand has come out with recently, except there was a Natasha Nona palette. Actually, let me hold that thought. I'm gonna use the LYS Triple Fix uh, concealer in the shade LG1. There was a Natasha Nona palette that I bought and then they refunded me without saying anything. And after the fact, they said that they can't ship to PO boxes. And I was like, really? Like you couldn't have reached out to me. I could have given you an address or whatever. And it took days before they even refunded it. And I don't know, it was kind of annoying cause that was the first makeup product I'd wanted to buy in a really, really long time. And then I just didn't end up buying it. And now I'm fine, honestly. <laughs> just the thought of like jumping back into everything and feeling underprepared kind of held me back. So I hope you guys will be patient with me and bear with me and let me know like what you wanna see from me, what I've missed out on, if there's been any really great makeup releases you think that I would like, cause I have not been purchasing any makeup. 
but I do actually have a bunch of new makeup releases that I've been sent in PR over time and I do feel kind of guilty about not using them yet, especially I have Teresa's collaboration with Lethal uh, Cosmetics and then I also have Batty Bean's Hollow Bean palette with Shroud Cosmetics that I really, really want to play with and support them. So you guys will just have to let me know what you want to see. I also have some of the new um, Odin's Eye Christmas collection. I have the new Blend Bunny palette and they came out with a liner and some lip products. So I do have those. And then also the new Adept palette and face palettes. So yeah, I mean, I have like a million things to play with. And like I said, I've basically just been doing my makeup the same way every day and being super boring, but I'm excited to switch it up again. Although hopefully no one's too disappointed. I feel like I'm definitely more of a neutral queen recently. I'm going in with Milk Cosmetics Golden Hour Blush Light. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this blush. I don't know if you could tell. I've been using it non-stop. It's just the prettiest formula. I want every single shade, honestly, but this one is beautiful. So I've been happy just using it every day. Can't remember what I was talking about, but like I said, it's been crazy owning a home and everything that goes along with it and like just making it less of a house and more of our home has been a whole process. And it was like especially intense in the beginning because I knew that my boyfriend's family was coming for a weekend to surprise him for his birthday and he didn't know about it, but I did. So like every single day I was waking up super early and I was like, we need to do this, we need to do that, we need to find a couch. We had pretty much nothing in our living room. So um, I was very, very bossy trying to get everything ready to go for his family to come and like for the house to be somewhat organized. So that was a really fun visit, but definitely a little bit stressful because he didn't want to work as hard as I did because he didn't know. He didn't know about the surprise. <laughs> he was like, can we just chill out for a few days, please? And I'm like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> so now I'm going to go into the Alomar La Costa Highlighter, which has also been my go-to recently. I feel like I should hit pan on it. Like, it's so dented right there, but I don't actually see any pan. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that with a big fluffy brush and just throw it over my cheeks and then... Sometimes I kind of bring it up a little bit, just kind of in this like C motion. But another thing that's been a little bit overwhelming, which in retrospect, I don't know if it was like the best timing, but so as soon as we got the house, we got back from a trip. I can't even remember where we went. I think that maybe we went to New York. I can't remember. <laughs> and we had left our cat, Athena, um, at my parents house where she has lots of friends because my parents have three cats and um, When we got back and we got to the house. She was kind of stressed out and It seemed like she was really lonely like I've never seen her act the way that she was acting She was just constantly wanting attention like constantly jumping on me and like just like always wanting to be held and like always wanting to be wherever we were and I just thought that she was probably lonely because she had been in a house with three other cats and a dog and so many people. I just, honestly, I felt kind of sad for her. And then also we were just like, we have such a big house. We love cats. <laughs> um, well, I should say I love cats and then my boyfriend he has definitely become a cat person because of Athena. He says he's not a cat person. He says he's an Athena person because she's literally the best, coolest, just sweetest little girl. Um, so anyways, we just were like, let's get another cat. And it was kind of <laughs> like a new kitten on top of everything else. So it was like an added stressor, but also super fun. And I did post and share some photos of him on Instagram, but I just took a picture right before I started filming because they're on the chair across from me, cuddled together. They're literally their best friends already. At first, Athena was like, I don't know, like, I'm not about it. She was hissing at him. She didn't want anything to do with him. But now they're obsessed with each other. Sorry, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be one of those people who's like always talking about their animals. 
but I love them and it's relevant to the story. So his name is Aries and he is definitely a little bit more of a handful. He's just got such a big personality and he's like the typical Siamese, so sociable. Like he just wants to be with people all the time. He actually can be a little bit annoying. <laughs> this morning he actually scratched my hand trying to jump up on me because he will jump up over and over and over again because he just wants to be on my shoulders all the time. It was pretty cool because the second day after we got him uh, we had a party celebrating my boyfriend's birthday slash the new house and we had so many people over and he was not scared at all. He was eight weeks old and he was just everywhere. Like he wanted to play with everyone, wanted to meet everyone. He was just not scared versus like when um, I first got Athena, she took a few days to adjust, which is like really normal. That is the, the standard for a kid coming to a new house and like you know, getting used to everything, but he literally didn't have any adjustment time. The only adjustment was Athena liking him. He was obsessed with Athena from the very beginning. He, and he still, he acts like he's like four times the size that he is. He will play so rough with her and it's, it's pretty funny. He's just not scared of anything. So that's really nice. But at the same time, he's also very like, I'm surprised that he's actually sitting and not like meowing like crazy right now because he's also such a big talker. Again, being the boring, boring girl that I am, I'm gonna go into the Natasha Nona Mini Lila palette, which I've been using so much. Actually, let me start with the La Costa highlighter first. I love using this as eyeshadow as well. I'm just gonna take a Sigma E54 and start that off on my inner corner. Just as such, oh, he just got, he's sitting beside me. He, I think he knew I was talking about him. I'm gonna go ahead and just bring that up into my crease a little bit and then over. I've gotten really good at doing this makeup look. I'm kind of taking my time right now, but I will do this in the car in like 10 minutes. And I always kind of just feel like my best self. I feel like it's just easy. It does what it needs to do. And then I'm gonna go into a Sigma E38, go into the Mini Lila palette, and I'm gonna take this light brown right here and just throw that into my outer V. Oop, I just realized I forgot eyeshadow primer, which is true to me because I've been terrible at remembering eyeshadow primer. Sometimes I'll throw down a concealer, sometimes a primer, but sometimes I just forget. So just gonna go ahead and throw that in the outer V. And then whatever's left over on the brush, I'll kind of bring inwards, just blending it into that gold. And then I'm also gonna take that shade on a flat eyeliner brush from Sydney Grace and just pop that along the outer half of the lower lash line. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the light gold shade. Just gonna pop that on the inner half of the lower lash line real quick. And then also grabbing that on my flat eyeshadow brush and just popping that in the middle between the matte shade and the highlighter. <laughs> what? what are you doing? So now I'm gonna go into the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and just coat my lashes. I feel like I bought this mascara years ago when it first came out and I really liked it, but I bought it again recently and I've been using it because I have it and it's open and I don't know where any other mascaras are right now. But I don't really like it that much, honestly. I feel like it was better in my memory. I don't know if it's changed or what, but I feel like, I mean, I guess it looks okay, but at the same time, it's kind of clumpy. Okay, so I've kind of already almost finished my makeup. All I really have left is lips, but I thought I'd chat a little bit more because the other thing I feel like I've been doing a lot of well away from YouTube is just working on my mental health and honestly I was struggling for a while there. I was having some of the worst anxiety of my life. I didn't know what it was from at all and sometimes like I'll have anxiety that is triggered by something but 
I was at this moment where I'm like, I was eating healthy and getting exercise and I have an amazing family. I have a great relationship. I have a home. All these like important factors to having good mental health. And I was still just so anxious. And so I actually decided to reach out for help and I started some medicine to help my anxiety, which um, I'm surprised I'm even sharing with you guys right now because at first I felt a lot of shame and I felt like a hot mess fulfilling my prescription. I felt like a hot mess like asking for help and like asking for medicine because I feel like I've tried for so many years to just handle my anxiety on my own and I got to the point where I just realized like let me just try it and I'm actually really happy to say that it's working. I think I'm on month three and it's actually so strange to live life without feeling anxious every single day and like not constantly worrying and like I feel like I used to be anxious every single day of the week and now maybe like every once in a while like maybe like once every week or two weeks or something, I'll feel like, oh, I'm a little bit anxious. But even then it's so minimal. It was kind of a struggle to start off with because A, I was feeling a lot of shame and B, um, I had some side effects where my stomach was hurting a lot, but luckily I've surpassed both of those. Um, and I just thought I'd talk about it because I feel like I'm in a much better place and hopefully getting back on social media does not change that all too much. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Nude Romantic 2 lipstick from Pat McGrath in the Bridgerton collection. Honestly, just cause it's the only thing in front of me that looks like it'll even work. So pretty though. All right, so here is the finished look. My hair is a little bit doing a lot, but um, I think that's mostly what I wanted to say in this video. I will finish off by saying that I really, really want to like have a goal for myself that like, I don't really know exactly what content I'm going to be doing. I, I mean, I'm sure it'll be makeup focused, but I want to make a goal for myself to just be me and be authentically who I am because I have felt like I started YouTube years ago and I feel as though off camera I have changed as who I am as a person and I've grown and matured and I feel like on camera I almost feel like it's like this like cookie cutter front and I feel like I just need to be like this best perfect version of myself and I have to be like the most PG version of myself and I feel like that's just not who I am off camera. Like, I like raunchy jokes and I like to party and I like to have fun. And like, if there's a shot, I'm gonna take it. I don't know, it sounds so stupid, but I just feel like on camera, I just haven't been accurately representing myself and like, there's things that I felt represented myself before and now they don't and like it's just it's it's complex because I feel like if I don't be who I am I think that's one of the reasons why I felt less passion filming but also at the same time I feel like if I'm authentically myself then some people won't want to watch and I think I just need to like come to terms with that like you don't like people who make jokes or who curse sometimes or who drink or smoke or whatever, then like, I don't know, I just wanna be myself. I mean, I've just had so many bad experiences that, that I'm personally not practicing religion anymore. And I know I have a cross tattooed on me, but I feel like for some people, like that's like I, a terrible thing for me to possibly say, but it's just, it's who I am right now. And like, I'm not the same person I used to be. <laughs> He's as corny and as cliche as it sounds. So I just want to be myself more and hopefully that resonates with y'all. And like I said, I do feel a little lost. So if there's anything at all, any content you'd really like to see me do, please let me know. I am so, so like 
behind. I don't even know what's going on, but I thought that I would try and film like a playing with new makeup next because I do have that PR I mentioned. So I hope you're happy that I'm back. I'm happy to be back. Thank you all for being so patient with me and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully so, so soon. Bye.